Toronto's number one hit music station, KISS 92.5, Jason Derulo inside the KISS studios in less than 10 minutes, and yes girls, you will be able to call in. I was so wrong, for so long, only trying to please myself, girl, I was caught up in her lust, when I don't really want no one else, so no, I know I should have treated you better, but me and you were meant to last forever. Jason, how are you? How's I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Adam. Uh, thanks for coming in. Oh, my so, absolute pleasure. All right. Hi, Kiss. Where are you calling from? You need to play Jason Derulo now. Uh, now? Now. Right at this moment. What if I don't? Because I, I'll come there and I'll eat you. I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. I want you to play him. He's so sexy. I want to hear his voice. <laughs> oh hey, Jason, J you. Can, can, you, can you just give her a clap or something? Or, can you can 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 just clap at you? Hi. Okay, give her a high at least. We're talking to this mic. <laughs> hey, hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Oh my God, hi. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my God, this is so. Oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe I'm talking to you. Oh my God. I love you more though. <laughs> oh my God, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> What's oh your God. name? Lisa. Lisa? Yeah. Oh, it's such a pleasure to meet you, Lisa. Oh my God, I want to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I love your song in my head. Oh, thanks so much. Oh my god, it reminds me of this guy that I want to be with, but I'm not going to be with him, so I'll be with you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was awesome to meet you, sweetheart. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going to cry. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. You, you, are, you are a drop-dead gorgeous, and I swear, if I were to meet you, yeah, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're singing out when it all goes down. <laughs> oh! Just saying, but okay, can you give us a Jason Derulo like you do at the beginning of your song? Absolutely. It's okay. yours truly, babe. Jason Derulo! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> As a musician, talking to a musician, I appreciate and love your music. I believe she just turned into a big puddle of estrogen on the other side. <laughs> wow! Jason Derulo! Officially welcoming you to the KISS Studios, dude. Uh, it's First of all, it's a pleasure to have you in here. Oh man, thank you for having me. Your songs are hot, but I mean, like, let's... I want to start a little bit like before all this happened because this is a big year for your 09 and this year have been pretty big. Yeah, absolutely. Where were you in 08? 08. 08, I was actually uh, writing songs for, uh, I believe it was uh, the, the, the whole making the band thing. I was um, doing the Danny DeCane, uh, uh, Donnie playing whole thing. Okay. Um, I, was, I was writing a lot of music for a lot of people in the industry and uh, I, I, I didn't uh, you know, get my, my big break, but I was starting to get noticed by different labels um, from, from songwriting. So um, it wasn't till uh, early 2009 that I, you know, really, really um, decided to go with a specific label. Okay, and uh, well, I've, I've actually read that you um, wrote your first song at eight years old. Is eight that true? Years old, yes. Eight years old. Okay, so were you? Now, was it just lyrics? Was it the whole song? Was it? It was. It was the whole song, man. I I I, uh, I wanted to impress this girl in my in my class, so I I wrote this song, you know, so I could maybe, you know, get her to eat a bologna sandwich with me or something. <laughs> <laughs> and what was her name? Amy. Amy, and the yes. song was called "Crush on You." Crush on you. And did she like it? I never sang it for her. <laughs> oh, I wonder if she knows now. I, me too, man. I, I, I say it all the time, so I, I wonder if she does know. Well, you know what, man? We got uh, we got 92 requests for you, demands for you, oh, faster man. than we've ever got it on Kiss. Wow. So that congratulations to that. Oh man, thank we're, you so much. We're gonna incredible. we're gonna play the song that is like your your first your, sorry your second single. It's uh -huh. the one that you're really loving. Everyone's really loving this song right yeah. now. Oh, that's amazing. And uh, it's called In My Head. Do you want do you want to introduce it? Just say hey, it's Jason Rulo. Kiss yeah, 92.5. You ready? Hey, it's it. Uh, hey, it's yours truly, Jason Rulo, and this is my song In My Head. Right here on KISS 92.5. Drulo, say hi. Yes. Hey, ladies, how's it going? <laughs> I know a few girls who just went, <sighs> So what's it like for you being on Lady Gaga's tour? You're, you know, I mean, that's a pretty big tour to be on. Yeah, man, it, it was awesome, man. It, it was really, really inspiring, you know, too, because uh, the, the show is just so, you know, elaborate. You know, there's there's so many uh, great things that go on on the stage, and the set it was just amazing. But more importantly, man, it was 
inspiring to see how far she's come in just a year's time. You know, she went from having six people in her staff to having 150 people in her staff just in one year, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, that's a, she's got a real monster going there. And, yeah, you know, when I went, I saw the Lady Gaga show. You were not opening at that point. Um, and, you know, everybody just seemed like they were ready for a good time. Right. Ready to dance, ready to have a good time. Yeah. So is that the vibe that you got from her audience? And Absolutely, man. It, it, you know, everybody, you know, kind of comes dressed. And it, it's, it's really, really fun, man. The whole thing was just... Uh, a big party. And what was the reaction to a song like in my head? Oh man, it's it's, it's been it's been incredible, man. I I am so pleased as a as a singer as a songwriter that uh, people are just being so receptive. I mean, this is my you know sophomore song, and you know there's always that pressure of you know is is this song gonna be uh, uh, as big as your first you know? And I and I never really really felt that pressure, and, and my, my fans you know they they uh, love it, man. They they haven't let me down. Mm, absolutely. And and uh, now I did also read something that said that uh, your uncle was in Haiti when the earthquake happened. Yes. Man. And he's okay? Yes, he's okay. He's uh, uh, back in Miami now, but you know, he didn't have any food, any water for three days and, and uh, he was actually homeless for almost a week. So it was, it was, it was pretty crazy. I mean, he's an American citizen and he just happened to be over there at that, at that particular time. That's, uh, I mean, and it's good to, first of all, it's good to, great to hear that he's all right. Yeah. Um, and and um, obviously, uh, it, it must have been, that day must have been kind of a bit of a bit of torture. What um, what now? Like, have you, do you still have family over there? No, no, and no, no one's over there. Um, okay. My family, but my heart goes out to uh, those who still haven't found their family members, and you know those who are are still in, enduring all the all the pain and suffering. Man, mm -hmm. it's it's really really horrific. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, just back to the music a little bit. If you're if you're um, <laughs> January two thousand nine. Before What You Say comes out, like right. months and months before What You Say comes out, if you're looking at yourself in the mirror, and now January 2010 you're looking at yourself in the mirror, where, how has your experience changed? How has your life changed? What's... Wow, man. Uh, that's a great question. Wow. It, it really, really made me think. Um, you know, then I, I think, you know, I think I'm the same person drive-wise. Um, and, and I want to continue to to stay on the same path. You know, I think a lot of people, you know, once they've had some success, kind of kind of let the uh, the hard work element just kind of leave them. You know, they feel like they've made it. But um, I, I feel like I've made it to a point. But I feel like this is a new beginning, and I can even truck harder. My fans make me want to work harder. Um, so I mean, I, I I'm looking at my I'm looking at myself in the mirror, the same exact way. I think I'm the same exact person. You know, mm -hmm. um, within. You're opera trained, so do you still do the same scales when you're warming up before the show? Yeah, I do the same scales. Can, and, you, can you give us one? Uh, <laughs> I'll give you one of my classical. <laughs> very, very nice. Now, if you had said to yourself six months ago, um, what you say is going to sell two million digital four copies. Four million. Four million. Yeah. Four million. Four, four million. Why do worldwide. I keep reading the wrong facts on that? Four million copies of the same, one song. Yeah. Okay. If you were able to tell yourself six months ago, nine months ago, before it was even out, would you have believed you? I don't. I don't know if I would have, man. Um, you know, I mean, that's that's all you hope for as as a singer, as a songwriter, that people are receptive to the music that you make. Um, I don't make music for myself. I really, really don't. And um, you know, the fact that people are 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 enjoying it, man, really means the world to me. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And do you? Um, well. I, I want to thank you for coming in because you've been an absolute pleasure. I'm sorry, I wish we had more time. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. Oh you are awesome. This is great. And uh, I, I do want you to introduce your last song. Do you have any, like, was there any inspiration behind this song? This is this is your big one. This was this is what you say. Yeah. Um, actually, my brother inspired this one. Um, he cheated on his girl and um, he was like, Jay, what should I tell her? Like, like, what should I do? She left me. I'm like, stupid. Go beg for her love back. You know, what I mean, this is only one thing you can do, and is that, and that's beg. You know, I mean, you really, really messed up, man. So, so yeah, that's that's how what you say came about. My uh, uh, stupid brother he cheated on his girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm really excited, man. My my album is coming out March second. That's right. Yes. So man. that's just released, and we I can't wait to hear the rest of it. And do, do you okay. have any do you have any hints from us, like for us on what the next single's gonna be, or is that something you had to keep under wraps? Um, you know, I, I I really want my fans to help me help me choose that. Okay. Um, I really feel like every song on the album is a potential single, so I'm 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 interested to know what my fans want. You know. So how can they do that? Um, hit me up on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter is at Jason Derulo. Um, hit me up on MySpace. Just like let let me know. Um, MySpace.com slash Jason Derulo. Facebook JasonDerulo.com. Please let me know. The album comes out March second. So as soon as it comes out, you know, hit me up. All right, Jason. You gotta go. I don't want you to go. I would rather I'd rather you stay here all night and co-host with me. But why don't you introduce your song? 
on your way out. Oh, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been such a long time coming, and it's amazing to see how everything has come to fruition, and it's all because of you. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for requesting my songs. I appreciate it. Uh, this is my first single, was my introduction to the world. It's me, Jason Derulo, with what you said. Hey, what's up? It's yours truly, Jason Derulo. I just want to take the time out to thank you for visiting my new favorite website, www.kiss925.com.